Hey everyone, my name is Andrew. I am the director of the crossover and the owner of Crystal Beacon Pictures. So I've been getting a couple of comments on the crossover video going, so is that how it ends? Is there more to the story? It seems like a cliffhanger. So this video will address those questions and since I'm here, I might as well uh, give you guys a little bit of behind the scenes story of how the crossover came to be. The crossover actually started because of an Instagram post, if you can believe it. A couple of friends of mine were in a show called All Shook Up at the Avo Playhouse in Vista back in May. And I saw the picture that they posted and I was like, almost looks like the poster of Mean Girls the Musical. And I thought, what if we actually did a photo shoot based off of Mean Girls? And they were like, oh yeah, let's totally do it. So we agreed to it on like the Sunday that they posted the picture. And five days later, we did a photo shoot. In those five days, the idea of the crossover really came to be. The idea that the three groups of girls would meet off in this battle really came into form. So that by the time the photo shoot actually happened, we went ahead and filmed the first part of the crossover. The next video that was being done was Getting Lucky. And that was being done like a week and a half after the Mean Girls photo shoot was finished. So I said, let's put a little post credit scene at the end of Getting Lucky, showing this whole thing progressing. The Heather's photo shoot was done two weeks later. Same thing happened. We did a little video and it kind of sets everything up for the skirmish and for World War III. There was a three month break in between the end of getting lucky and the beginning of the skirmish I was busy doing stuff everyone else was busy doing stuff we didn't really have time to get everything together but once we did we wrote the script for the skirmish and for World War 3 we filmed the skirmish and World War 3 on the same day back to back what I didn't know writing the scripts for those two videos was who was gonna win so I decided let's leave it up to YouTube to decide who wins as crazy as it sounds, I actually did not have a horse in the race. I said, let's just figure out who YouTube would decide to win. Obviously, the Chipettes won, because that's what the poll showed. Now, the reason it ended the way it did, the short version is because of miscommunication and because of scheduling issues. The slightly longer version is that hindsight is always 20-20. Uh, what I should have done was, since I had all nine girls with me there that day, I should have just filmed a, hey, we rock, high five, we, we kicked your guys' butt type of video for each of the three groups that were there. But I didn't. The plan originally was, let's wait until October 27th, the poll will close, and on the next day, the Sunday, the 28th, we'll film a video with just the winners. Things kind of fell through the cracks to the point where we're three days away from the poll closing and the only person who's really available to film for the winners was Megan. Megan is a college freshman and she goes to college in LA. And I'm based out of San Diego. You do the math. So a two and a half hour drive there and two and a half hour drive back just to film a scene that took about half an hour, 45 minutes to do. So the video needed to be done because I'm a man of my word. I'm a man of my word. I said the video would be done on October 31st and it was out on October 31st. The script that I wrote for the finale was intentionally a little vague because in late September, early October, some of the mean girls and some of the Heathers came up to me and said, what if we decided to do a season two where the Heathers and the mean girls decided to team up against the Chipettes, you know, go six on three. And I said, that'd be kind of interesting. So I posed the question to the girls. Half of them said, yeah, let's do it. Half of them said, no, scheduling's not really all that great. Because the thing you need to know about these nine incredibly talented ladies is not only do they go to school, but they're also involved in musical theater. So they have dancing classes, acting classes, singing lessons. They're really involved. And on top of that, they're also in theater productions here in San Diego and Los Angeles. So they're incredibly busy girls. So if schedules don't exactly work to get everyone together, that's why. So I said, if we're gonna do a season two, all right, I'll write the finale in a way that if we decide to go for a season two, it's a little bit open so we can go that way. If not, at least you know now, because I'm about to tell you, the Chipettes are okay. 
they are okay. You hear it in the phone call that Eleanor gives to Brittany. Yes, I'm here with Jeanette. We're on the other side of the park. We're pretty banged up, but we're okay. But if there is a season two that decides to come down the line somewhere, the Heathers and the Mean Girls, then maybe they do come back. Thank you guys so much for watching the crossover series. A special thank you to Megan, Nicole, Ainsley, to Manon, and to Sydney and Karina, and also Michaela, Carissa, Isabella. All nine of you are incredibly talented ladies. Thank you so much for doing this series and for, you know, building it up and creating this story. It's absolute magic to work with you guys. If you guys want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button over here. Click the little bell so you're notified when stuff comes out. Follow me on social media also. I post a lot of stuff on there too. Click in the description below and you guys find my social media links. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.